Welcome to this special platform, Iconic Baby Steps. Join me, Tony Ojutola, to become a friend of God. Hallelujah. Do not forget that you are special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. All glory be to God. Today's word of encouragement is titled, Jesus Prayed. This message is to keep us all as believers and non-believers focused and at alert. Brethren, if Jesus prayed, which has been clearly stated time after time in the Bible, the word of God, who are we then not to pray? In the book of First Thessalonians, Chapter 5, verse 17 in the New Testament reads, Pray without ceasing. To me, it literally means never stop praying based on consistency. Hallelujah. Jesus was continually in the prayer mode, which shows consistency. He never took prayer for granted, despite being the Son of God, our Saviour our Redeemer. Brethren, the way to rejoice evermore is to pray without season. As believers, we should have more joy if we prayed more. If we look into verse 16, the same First Thessalonians chapter 5, it reads, rejoice evermore. This is with an understanding of spiritual joy. When we rejoice in our everlasting Father, our joy will be full. Here we can observe how these two verses, I mean verse 16 and 17, connect together. When we pray, we have divine peace and spiritual joy abounds, even if we are sorrowful upon any worldly account. Still, we may always rejoice through God's grace. Praise the Lord. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 10. I read from King James Version. As sorrowful, yet also rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. Praise the Lord. From a simpler version, I read from the Good News translation. Although saddened, we are always glad. We seem poor, but we make many people rich. We seem to have nothing, yet we really possess everything. Praise the Lord. As children of God, we should keep up stated or set times for prayer and continue instant in prayer, meaning we must be persistent in prayer. We must be patient in times of affliction and faithful in prayer, no matter what situation we find ourselves. We must be joyful in hope. Romans chapter 12, verse 12, the King James Version reads, Rejoicing in hope. Patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Praise the Lord. Brethren, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, prayed at all times, right from start to the last minute. He was shown to pray alone. We can see this in the book of Mark 14 verse 23 and many other areas in the Bible. He prayed in public. John 11 verses 41 to 42. He prayed before meals. Matthew 26 verse 26. He prayed before important decisions were taken. Luke 6 verses 12 to 13. He prayed before healing. He prayed after healing, he prayed to do his father's will. Matthew 
26 verses 36 to 44. And amongst other things, our Father, Jesus our Savior, he also taught on the importance of prayer. If we look into the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 22, he also taught the Lord's Prayer. He taught his disciples how to pray. When we look into all these, there's so many verses in the Bible to show Jesus praying on various occasions, observing carefully all the places and occasions where our Lord, the Almighty, prayed is of an eye opening to both believers and non believers. Hallelujah. Showing and telling us the necessity and importance of praying without relenting. Praise the Lord. Dear brethren, the word, the gospel itself, shows Jesus our Lord, our Saviour, physically praying on various occasions. I hereby mention a few verses showing Jesus praying. In the book of Luke, chapter 3, verses 21 to 22, if we read it, it shows him praying at his baptism. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 35 to 36, in the morning before heading to Galilee. In the book of Luke, 15, verse 16, after healing people, and it says here, and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed. In the book of Luke, again, chapter 6, verses 12 to 13, we can see they mentioned here, Jesus went to pray all night before choosing his 12 disciples. In the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 to 26, he prayed while speaking to the Jewish leaders. In the book of John, chapter 6, verse 11 also, he gave thanks to his father before feeding the 5,000. Likewise, he did before feeding the 4,000. In the book of Matthew also, chapter 14, verse 23, before walking on the water, and it reads, and when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain, apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Hallelujah. Brethren, also in the book of Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 to 37, he prayed while healing a deaf and the mute man. In Matthew fifteen thirty-six, he prayed, giving thanks to the Father before feeding the 4,000 which could also be read in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verses 6 to 7. In the book of Luke, chapter 9, 28 to 29, Jesus prayed at the transfiguration. So many, brethren, in the book of Luke 11, verse 1, before teaching his disciples the Lord's Prayer, he prayed. John 11, 41, 42, before raising Lazarus from the dead. He prayed in the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 13 to 15, laying hands on and praying for little children. Jesus prayed in the book of John again, chapter 12, verses 27 to 28, asking the Father to glorify his name. In the book of Matthew, chapter 26, Verse 26, at the Lord's Supper. If we look in the book of Luke 22, verses 31 to 32, it says, Jesus prayed for Peter's faith when Satan asked to sift him like wheat. We can check these up ourselves in order to read them in detail. In the book of John 17, Verses 1 to 26, it shows Jesus prayed for himself, for his disciples and all believers just before 
heading to Gethsemane. In Matthew 26, verses 36 to 46, He also likewise, in the garden of Gethsemane, before his betrayal, he prayed three separate prayers. And then in Luke 23, 34, right after being nailed to the cross, nailed to the cross, brethren, after being nailed, Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In Matthew twenty-seven forty-six, while dying on the cross, Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And in his dying breath, Jesus prayed, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Brethren, after his resurrection, he prayed a blessing on the bread before he ate with the others. And in Luke 24, verses 50 to 53, he blessed the disciples before his ascension. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, pray without season or praying without season does not mean that men should do nothing but pray, but nothing else we do should hinder in its proper season by praying at the right and appropriate time. In conclusion, we all need to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We should pray always and not faint. Pray without weariness and continue in prayer till we come to that world where prayer should be swallowed up in praise. A breakthrough. Prayer will help forward and not hinder. However, avoid sin. Sin is a prayer killer. And when we continue to pray in sin, it is an abomination to God. Always give gratitude to God. Our Saviour, our Redeemer, always did. Praise the Lord. Dear brethren, I hope this message would inspire us to take our prayer life more seriously and most importantly, to be more consistent and avoid sin as much as possible, especially willful sin. If you haven't given your life to Christ and would like to give your life to Christ, why not? Take a bold step of faith. Join me and become a friend of God. If you are ready to give your life to Christ, say this prayer after me. Oh Lord, my Father, I come to you and confess, accepting you as my personal Savior. I trust and believe in you. I repent of all my sins and ask for your full forgiveness. I say bye-bye to the devil and carry the cross of righteousness. Please write my name in your book of life. Empower me and teach me how to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, help me, lead me and guide me. I am all yours. Hallelujah. All glory be to God. Amen. I would like to congratulate you if you have just given your life to Christ. In order to support you, to help you, and to pray with you with further information, you can contact us via the email address placed on the screen. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you and see you next time. Bye.